Hi, I'm Eileen Kane and welcome back to my channel. I am so glad you're here. I have a Sephora haul for you today. I am so excited. Um, I got everything 50% off, so they recently had a sale and I really needed skincare products, so I got mostly skincare. Uh, forgive the noise in the background, the kids are home. Um, today, if you're interested, my makeup look is this palette, Anastasia Subculture. That's what it looks like. Very well used. One of my favorite palettes. Um, my lip combo is NYX and it's in the color, you know, I gotta put my Global Citizen. I remembered. <laughs> and here I've shown it before, but I'll just show you what it looks like. Beautiful doe foot applicator, goes on really smooth, um, does not dry your lips out. Gorgeous. And I just love this cutter, cutter, cutter. Mm. I love this color because <laughs> it's so um, like natural. And then I have the Buxom uh, Plumping Lip Gloss on top just to plump things up a little bit. And let's get started with the haul. Hey, before I continue, if you're new here, can you subscribe please? Hit that bell so you can get the not notifications and follow me on TikTok. I do a lot of silly content on TikTok and follow me on Instagram. And what else? Comment, share the video if you like it, give me a thumbs up and let's go. All right, so first off, we have the Tarte Amazonian Clay Concealer. Um, this is waterproof 12 hours. So I was so excited to try this because um, I've been actually wanting to try it for a long time. And you know what? If you can't get into these little boxes, just take your, uh, what are these called? Pluckers, tweezers, <laughs> and do like that. Little trick. I'm full of little tricks and tips. You know that. Okay, so this is a beautiful yellow color. Let's see if we can read it. It's in the color, I think my glasses are light sand. I think they're smeared and this is what it looks like beautiful yellow color so very correcting i have not um, used it yet so um but most of the products that i did buy are on my face so that's what that looks like very um very smooth i'm excited to try this because that blend that blended in really well you can't even see it um so we'll see how it works on mature skin and with the fine lines and uh, hmm, texture. But if anything, if I can't use it as a concealer, what I'll do is I'll use it as a eyelid primer. So that's also a good tip. Did you know you could wear your concealer on top of your eyes as an eyeshadow primer? Told you I'm full of tips. Okay, so next up is our Sephora make no mistake foundation stick now i wanted to i did okay <laughs> noise in the background i did want to use this color this was the only color available i think one this one and one other and they were dark colors but i got it because i used it as a uh, contour so i used that today um I, I did, I really liked it. A little bit harder to blend, um, but that's what it looks like on my skin. Very dark, excellent as a contour. And so I'm gonna keep using this. I definitely like that. And the next Sephora thing I have is the Sephora Golden Hour Illuminating Liquid. And that's what that looks like. I got mine in golden. It is the summer. I toned my hair so it's looking silvery purple again. <laughs> so, um, I don't know why I said that. What does that have to do with a highlighter? I don't know. It's how my brain works. Okay, so this, I wanted to shake it up because it's a little bit liquidy. But let me show you what this looks like. Let's see. Let's get a good, very liquidy. But I use this. Um, before, well, after my serums, I love, I love it. I really love it. It's got, um, just a very 
natural glowy highlight and it's smooth it blends right in and it's a beautiful finish and um, I was worried about it underneath my makeup uh, today but this it didn't pill um, I don't have any creasing um, it didn't like dry out or anything or settle into my lines at all so this is a beautiful liquid highlighter if you're looking for one highly recommend okay so the next thing have I been telling you the prices oh my goodness what's going on okay so I can't find the here it is the tart retails for $25 don't forget I got all of these half off so that one it's $25 um, foundation stick in Sephora that I'm using as a contour stick, $8. The uh, Luminator is $10. And, and next up is the Mario Bar, uh, Badesco Silver Powder. I do love these products. They work extremely well. Um, but I was curious to use this because, and I forgot I had it in the box, so I didn't use it today. So, and I'm like, hmm. Maybe we'll put some on while we're here. Um, make sure I have a clean brush. So this is a silver powder. Looks like this. It reminds me of talc, talcum powder. Is that what it's called? Or cornstarch? <laughs> but this is supposed to minimize fine lines, um, minimize large pores, and help with the oily skin. I don't have oily skin, but I thought, well, I have large pores and as I age, they get larger and I don't know why, but they do. I think everybody has that. Um, so I'm gonna pour just a little bit. Ooh, that was, that was too much. All right, <clears throat> and it spilled on my hand. Let's dip it in and see what this looks like. Whoa, that's really thick. Let's see if we can get some off. Let's just do It's very, you can't see it, can you? I don't know if I notice, uh, you know, a big difference. Let's do it with where my lines usually, uh, my makeup usually creases. Oh, okay, so that really diminished the fine lines. I'm gonna try to get a close up. This side is like more of a, sagging skin <laughs> than this side but you can see that worked pretty well okay so i'm gonna play around with that and give it a try and see if we like that and that retailed for what's that one uh twelve dollars um i'm not sure if that was a that might be a sell the sale price some of these might actually be sales sale prices. I went back and re-looked at my order online and um, just wrote the prices down. So um, like for instance, the Amazonian clay um, concealer at $25, that's obviously a retail price. I did not pay $25 for this, <laughs> but this seems like it would be the 50% off price. So maybe, I don't know why they did that, but anyway. Okay, so next up we have, the Tarte Micellar Magic Makeup Remover. Okay, I was in very, I've got powder everywhere, silver powder everywhere. I was in desperate need of some cleansers, some good cleansers, that's what it looks like. It's beautiful packaging, I love the packaging. Look, see, I got powder everywhere. How do I do these things? Okay, so let's open this up. I love the packaging, I love the bottle. <laughs> there's the back I love how you know the print is inside the back of the bottle and you can see through it it's a good amount like that's it's heavy there's a lot of product in here and I especially love the top because you just boop and you get the product so what I used was the um, just some cotton rounds and Try and get it. 
Okay, that was very difficult. And just pump it and it gets it right on there. And then let's clean up the powder <laughs> and the highlight that was on my hand. What else is on my hand? This, let's clean this. So works pretty well. Um, I used it last night and it did, it did sting my eyes. Okay, so don't use it around your eyes. I was thinking, I thought it was clean and green product. I believe Tarte is a green company, um, but I guess just don't use it around your eyes because um, it did sting. I did have to, not the best, let's say not the best at removing all your makeup. So if you have full face like I do right now, um, you're gonna wanna use that and then I used like a magic eraser type cloth to get the rest off. Um, so this one, let's read. This one was part my stellar water, um, 18. So 18, great price for that. That's a big, big bottle. And next up we have the Ordinary, one of my all time favorite brands. You know me, I love the Ordinary. Um, one thing about this Sephora haul is was that the packaging wasn't the greatest. Most everything um, arrived nicely and in one package. I got actually the, the product was or the products were split into two, um, but the second box came right after the first box, so not a big deal. Um, but some of the products were not packaged very well. And as a matter of fact, I'm very disappointed in um, this one serum that I got. And let's see, the Ordinary's Reversatol 3% and Ferulic Acid, um, which is this one. Oh my gosh, so nice on the skin. Love, love, love. But this is um, came nicely packaged. You know, no no damage. Um, it's a very nice oil. So use this mostly at night, but however, I use it just a couple drops under my foundation. That's kind of what it looks like, so you can get a, a good idea. And then I just pat on, just pat like that all over my face. And then I give that ample time to dry because um, you want that to really set in. I'm a dry skin right now girl. Um, kind of went from combination to dry mostly um, as I age. So this is a fantastic product. Um, it keeps my skin hydrated and glowy and it looks just, it really looks good on and under makeup. But you can use it at night too. And that one was, let's see. Let's see, that one was $9. The Ordinary products are really, really um, affordable. And the next one was, okay, now we're going to the Inky, another favorite brand. The Inky skincare is amazing. Um, I got three products this time around. One I have used before and I absolutely love it, but it's expensive. So I was um, happy to find, I don't know, did this one go, uh, was this on sale? Yeah, it was on sale. So um, anyway, let me just continue on. The Inky um, Retinol Anti-Aging. Okay, that's what the box looks like. It's a treatment, so it has, I love how it says right here what it's used for. It's um, obviously a retinol product. I have not tried this um, yet, but reduces, helps to reduce wrinkles without irritation um, because it's in a serum um, formula and I will use this at night. And you know that serums go on first and then your like your sleep mask or moist, the heavy moisturizers or anything like that goes on after. So this is what that looks like. Cute little bottle, good amount of product in here. And let's see, just uh, 
like a yellowish. And it feels great. It just feels, it's very soothing actually. It feels like a lotion. It's not sticky. There is a chemically smell, chemically? There is a chemical smell, but not bad at all. So love that if you're looking for a retinol, like that it's a little less irritating than tretinoin or you know, something like that. Um, good price too. And that one was, let's see what that one was. That one was, ooh, eight, that one was retinol, 10.99. And then the next one is the Inky Q10. And I've never tried this product yet either. And this is also a treatment that I'll use at night. And so this is what this looks like. Good amount in here too. Well, that's backwards. Q10, um, never tried it. Comes in a little pump bottle. Nice little lotion, not greasy at all, very smooth. That feels really good too, very soothing. No smell. So, can't wait to try that. That's gonna go, so I'll use my treatment, my serums, and then I'll probably use this and then a sleep mask for night. So, excited about that. Let's put that over there, and then my last, let's see, do I have the price on that one? That one was $8.49. And then my polyglutamic acid. Love, love, love. One of my favorite products ever. This is a treatment as well. Um, however, I do put this on before uh, my makeup. This gives the most smoothest, prettiest finish under your makeup. And it looks like this. Comes in a pump bottle, clear, and it's just, it's just, I keep putting everything on top of everything else, but oh, it's so nice. And it's just satiny. This is a very chemically smell, but it goes away very quickly. So you're not gonna keep smelling it throughout the day or night whenever you use it. Very highly recommend this product. Really good for you, it helps to minimize fine lines and wrinkles. And like I said, is very smooth finish, um, kind of like a primer for underneath foundation. And the next, oh, let's see what, that one was $14.99. So um, on average, I think this price is like $30 or $35 normally. So I was very happy to get that. I have been out of this forever. and not buying it because it was $35 and I didn't want to spend the money. Um, okay, so we talked about the retinol. Next on the list is <laughs> the Sephora Collection Lip Stories. Okay, this is funny. This is funny. Let me dig around in my box here. I wanted to kind of go, these were a good price at, what, $9, $9 each. And I wanted to kind of go out of the box. I when I get lipstick, I just tend to use like the same colors over and over. And this still is the same colors. It's what they look like. They're really cute. Sephora collection, really cute packaging. Um, pretty cheap feeling. It's like, feels like paper plastic, but and really cheap, thin plastic there. But um, this is a beautiful color. And I'll just put a little on there. That is very much in, <laughs> very much in my range. Okay, so I'm gonna use this, obviously. That's very nice. But this one, <laughs> um, hmm, what is that? I, this is the, uh, I tried it on yesterday, the ugliest color ever, at least for me, like, I can't pull that off. I'm sure it's beautiful on somebody, but I cannot pull this off. So, 
that might be going back because I do have a product to send back um, if I can find it actually and I'll get there it's a, an ordinary product so that was a Sephora collections lip lip stories nine dollars um, the it cosmetics bye bye under eye waterproof concealer this one's weird because I did not order this but I used it today and it's dark okay check this out um, at least I don't remember ordering it. I very well could have because that's, again, that's how my brain works. Little mini size. I love that it's waterproof. It was, it went, it went on really smoothly. Let's put it on. Oh my gosh, I got powder again. Where's powder is everywhere. All right, let's put it on right here. So that's what it looks like. It's dark but okay so one of my tricks is that i will use a darker concealer under like where my bags are so you can see my bags if i especially if i do this you can see where the bags are that i use darker concealer right under those bag lines and it helps to like you know just one-on-one -on -one and just reflects the light and it helps to kind of hide the the bags so i used that for this purpose and it worked beautifully uh, it, it was gorgeous it's gorgeous on blends in really well and that's that's staying not tacky or sticky or anything and that's staying on there so i love that that one was let's see mini concealer 13 dollars no the color was thir um, 13 rich no, $13, let me see. The color is rich, I believe. Let's see the box. Yes, yes, rich and $13 for that. So, um, pretty. I mean, it's tiny, but this will last forever because you only need like, you saw how little that I used. Um, the next up is Mario Badesco again, facial sprays. I have a whole collection of Mario Badesco facial sprays. And after my serums and sometimes after my serum and then moisturizer, I will put this on, spray it for extra hydration and let just let that all kind of seep into my skin before I start my foundation. Uh, routine but I got the what is this one um, sage and orange blossom this smells so good so good okay and this one is the mini one aloe and coconut this one has no smell I don't know no smell I don't know why it says coconut because I was ex that's why I got it I love coconut and I love the smell of coconut but it has no coconut smell so whatever but I love the hydrating um, facial mists and I use them a lot okay so the um where's my glasses I got the um the aloe and and coconut one for seven dollars and the uh, uh, uh the mini one sorry the Oh, and on here I said I got two of the aloe and coconut, but I didn't. So um, I, I got them both for $7, which was nice. So whatever. Um, so that's that. Now, the Ordinary 100% Plant Derived Hemi Squalene, another one of my favorite products. This is what I'm disappointed about. Can you see... Where's the other one? Can you see the difference in the package? This one's soaked. This one came and it the packaging is not damaged. However, it must have leaked during shipment. I don't think it's got like a leak or anything, but it came all soaked and if I don't know if you can see the liquid in there came about half the bottle they're usually filled up to this line 
So this leaked in, in transit, but another uh, amazing skincare serum. Um, again, helps to diminish fine lines and wrinkles. And this is another, um, it's a serum, but it's an oil, like an oil. So again, just take a little bit, rub it on your hands, and then just kind of press it in. Amazing. Um, again, I use this this morning before I put my makeup on, but you can use it at night. If you use it in the morning before your makeup, then just do a little bit and wait, like, like I said, a while before you put your makeup on. And this video is so long, I'm sorry. Um, and then I have, what else do I have in here? Um, I, I don't believe I have all of my, oh, sorry. And that one was 450, that one was really cheap. So, you know, I mean, can't really, I'm upset that some of it leaked out, but you know, for $4.50, not bad. But I am gonna try to return it and get a full bottle back. Um, I got the Sephora Collection Priming Sleep Cream. Priming Sleep Cream? Is that what it's called? Firming. I didn't have my glasses on. Okay, so this is what that is called. Loved this. I wore it last night. My face felt amazing. Thick. Look how thick that is. I mean, it's like... A sleep mask nice oh I put it on over makeup really really beautiful smooth not greasy at all seeped right into my skin was able to go to you know chill and then go to sleep right away not have to worry about it all over my pillows or anything like that so that was great and that one is $12 um, I got the Too Faced Killer Liner, 35 hour, 35 hour proof, 35 hour proof, waterproof. <laughs> and this, let's see if I can get it open. I have not used yet. I forgot about it. And so, but that's what it looks like. I was going to use it, um, but then I forgot about it. I needed a really good eyeliner. And that's really pretty, really dark. That's my jam. And so I'm glad that it's a, a, a waterproof one because I will wear it this summer if we go to beach or whatever. And then, where are we? Got a couple products by Selfless. I have not tried these products yet. I know this looks like a lot and it's a long video, but it's really not that much, I promise. And let's start with the Selfless by Hiram. I have not tried these products yet, but they are green um, products and I'm all about that life right now, green products and you know, the less chemicals, the better. So I got the Hiram Centella and Green Tea Cleanser. Beautiful packaging. I used this this morning, absolutely amazing. No harsh smell, beautiful. Did not bother my eyes, by the way. Um, this I will be using, I haven't tried this yet. It's the, oh, by the way, $20 for the cleanser. Um, Selfless by Hiram, Mandelic Acid and Rice. Um, this is a moisturizer. I'm gonna use that as a daily moisturizer under my foundation. And I had, cool, I just saw this is the Inky. The Inky List. Look, my favorite products. No wonder I like them so much. Yay! Okay, so that one is niacinamide. Oh no, um, the Mandelic Acid is 24. I believe those are retail prices. If I'm wrong, hmm, who cares? And this one is the Mandelic Acid and Rice Brand. Okay, that's what I just showed you. Look, I st where is this powder coming from? Wow. Okay, this is a night cream. I'll just put that on a little bit. Ooh, nice. Ooh, a night serum. Definitely gonna be using this. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, and this one was 24. And then, well, what, I have this one. 
niacinamide. Un momento, por favor. Niacinamide, where is it? I can't find it. Selfless by Hiram. Ooh, I don't have it on here. So this is Selfless by Hiram, Niacinamide, and Marcuse, um Daily Moisturizer. I'll have it on my little listy list. And oh, you can wear this at daytime or night, it says. I'm so excited these are an inky list. No, well, okay, wait. I lied, that has a smell. I don't know what it smells like. Kind of smells like BO. <laughs> well, actually it's fading away. So, okay, the, the smell goes away pretty fast. Not, not sticky, a little bit tacky. So I'll use that at night. <laughs> Smell like BL. Okay, and then I wanna hurry up and finish because oh, I'm so sorry this video is so long. Who knew that it would take me so long to talk about all this stuff? Ugh, what else did I did not cover? I got, oh, that's, this is not support. I got this Milk Flex Concealer. I loved this. Um, I did not get the color that um, I wanted, but this color worked worked out, and this is Golden Sand. Let me see if this is on my list. Milk. Milk Makeup Flex Concealer, $28. Okay, so that's retail. That is why I don't buy this, but it's amazing. I used it for this area just at the corners um, and as a primer. So that's what this looks like. It has a wand and it's a very skinny wand, which I, I don't, honestly, I don't like this wand, but there's the color, um, yellow based. For me, I have like bluish, purplish undertones, pinkish. Um, so this yellow based stuff works best for me, but I love it. Uh, this is highly rated, so now I know what all the hype was about, because that's amazing. And I get as a sample, I got a couple of samples. I did not try this Ilia lip sample, and I did try this uh, Born This Way. The one I tried was the porcelain that I... Is that right? Okay, the porcelain, but wow, it doesn't look like porcelain. It looks like um, darker, but love this so far. Very glowy. So there's those samples. Um, oh, one more thing. One more thing. The Natasha Denona Lip Liner Pencil. Um, been wanting to try this product. This is, I think, another green company. And this was... Um, it worked, but too light. This matches my lip color like identically. So <clears throat> I used it today and I couldn't tell I had it on. I couldn't, it was, I was like, and it wasn't, I couldn't see it. So, um, but uh, it would be a good no makeup makeup look for that and just use that. Uh, well, for me anyway. So. <laughs> Um, because it matched my lips. So if you use that as a lip stick and then just put a little balm or something on. Anyway, um, that's about it. I got another couple of things, but this video is really long. And if you're here until the end, I really appreciate it. I am so glad you joined me and I'll see you in the next video. Love you guys.